So then we are back with a modern understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage, so then we can understand the time of the end. Then, per Yerushiahu the prophet, we find then the layer of understanding regarding then the time of the restoration of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. Along with it comes also the trade of the end also recorded and shown then the step by step formation of the kingdoms related with this time of the restoration period namely then the kingdom of the north east and south these understanding related with Daniel the 11th chapter gives us then the specific relationship of the kingdom of the north and the kingdom of the south. The kingdom of the south is yet birthing. It is Africa. When we speak then of these kingdoms from the tabernacling viewpoint, though we are speaking of Gentile viewpoint, but then it is considered kingdom, kingdom, and kingdom. Those, they mean organization. Let's understand who Daniel was. He was in a tradesperson. He was a politician. Always organized. And what nation he then worked for was then Babylon. And at some point in the Middle Persians also he worked. So then, not only these, but then we must understand... There is a section of Daniel relating then the kingdom of the north and the kingdom of the south. We understand then a couple of chapters later there is the understanding of Baal and the dragon. Then the Baalian system, any other than the system of the dragon. And then the dragon itself protected then producing. Then we must understand also the west is not mentioned. So then we find ourselves during this time of a transition from then a system, a Balian system of more than a thousand years. And then this country became very prominent during the time of the seat. But then we are transitioning ourselves then from the time of the seat as far as government wise, time wise already ended. But traditions from the time of the thousand years of the seat is yet very much alive in many nations. So then as we understand the transitional time from the first and second tabernacle services, we must understand also transitional time of the time of the seat and the time of the dragon. We are then over 40 years after 2009. Then, we understand the West is not mentioned regarding then the 11th chapter of Daniel. Why? Because West has gone out of the way. We are during a period of time where then obviously the scripture was making a reference of a period future from ours. But the prophecy itself was then prophesied 2,500 years ago plus. Because understandings of the tabernacling have no time. However, we find then West not mentioned. It is absolutely not mentioned. It only gives a spiritual understanding of the kingdom of the East then secluded. For instance, let's give then a simultaneous understanding then related with tabernacling. So then we can understand the principles. For instance, Maccabeus, also in the Apocrypha, you find then Yirmiyahu the prophet, when he was in a tabernacle or then during the time was temple but let's understand tabernacling he was tabernacling and prior of the invasion of the Babylonians he was then informed regarding then 
the underground way built by Shilimon roughly 500 years prior of the usage of the special entrance. So then, as we understand, then Tabernacle during the time of Yermiahu was then built far larger than the Tabernacle in the desert because Shilimon was building a machine. There is an elevator system under then the Holy Tabernacle, known as the temple at the time, but let's say tabernacle. Then when the time came, Yermiahu then was divinely warned, and then they used the elevating system. That's why then the Ark of the Covenant and the most important objects for the time of the second tabernacle services in the future would be secured in a chamber. So it was. When the king of Babylon came with his armies, then the elevator system was activated, and the most important articles of the Holy Tabernacle then were saved in a cave. They were in a chamber, and they remained there for a long time. So when we read then the instructions, and then the articles of the Creator were then in this chamber forever. It's not the items of the Creator were in the chamber forever. The understanding from tabernacling is they had to store the items of the forever for a time. Forever means Creator. So when we read the instructions, we must understand it's not there in a cave or there in the chamber forever. Forever is in the chamber for a time. There is a distinction. So then, simultaneously, then we understand the West is not mentioned in the 11th chapter of Daniel. Because the West is out of the way. And the only individual in this planet who can do this is obviously the Northern Kingdom. China, Mr. Chi, obviously, he's on the line. Because he must understand, he must hire the Northern Kingdom services. These are divine guidance given more than 2,500 years ago. It's not anybody's idea. It simply indicates the flow of the trade of the end. This means the price of the products won't be higher. The price of the products are going to continue as it is. However, there is a new management of these absolutely inexpensive products. It's a simply a change of management without any consequences of production. But then Mr. Chi and Mr. Putin must come together and then start this engine. Because the West is not mentioned. The West is out. And since we are 40 years after, so we are behind schedule, then requires Mr. Chi and Mr. Putin to come together and make this plan and then instantly starting up skirmishes. What kind of a skirmishes? Because the West is not part of the 11th chapter of Daniel. It does not mean destruction. It does not mean bomb or any related with violence. It's a simple skirmish of the economy or economical skirmishes political skirmishes, relationship skirmishes, or any kind of a skirmish you can think of as far as bureaucracy, or any area related with the politics. So then we get ourselves in harmony until this plan gets done, then prior of 
the world is not going to experience harmony. And the world wants harmony. So it is imperative, Mr. Chi then understanding the services of the Northern Kingdom in exchange for petroleum and gas, natural gas, and then China receiving the final product as far as, as minerals or then materials or metals. From then on, then we know then the sequence. But the West is not part of the plan. West is not iron. West is clay. At this time, we understand then the base of the statue. The base of the statue involves a couple of areas. The areas of the seat and also the areas of restoration. There is a specific relationship during the time of the deceit. There were many irons during the time of the seat. But we've entered a time of restoration where then these irons became only the first, second, and third kingdoms. The rest becomes clay. It does not mean incompetent. Simply places focus where they belong. Or the say-so kingdoms of the east, north, and then south. So then, the West must be out of the way. So then we can understand the rest of it. As long as the West is not out of the way, then troubles everywhere. <coughs> Try to understand the old-fashioned navigation system. For an instance, the Polynesians, they used to have a specific type of raft. And then Thor Heyerdahl from Norway decided to change the understanding of the time as far as, as the culture of Peru and the French Polynesians. He did understand that it was a link with those cultures. What did he do? He came up with a raft. Does the Contiki expedition of 47. He had proven it. But then the raft was built in a such a way where then the navigation was very specific. There were guada boards under the raft and it had to be set in a certain way. So then this was proven after, many decades after, via the descendants of Thor Heyerdahl. So after this raft then is set on course, any kind of a change of the harmony of the raft then becomes unbalanced. It is the same way with instructions. There is a way of a point of harmony where then the raft is positioned properly, adjusted properly, and the trim is done properly. Then maintains its course. When there isn't, then comes the imbalance. Means then the wind comes in another direction, then the raft wants to go in another direction, then the guada boards are not adjusted properly, it then goes up and down, up and down, sideways, and does not have the point of harmony. And because then the west is out, does it mean it's going to be out of the world? No. It's simply a retrieving for rebuilding. Are we not during the time of the restoration? So let's understand the meaning of it. The nations then they retrieve for rebuilding while there is a set agenda of a trade system already set more than 2,500 years ago. And the system is very simple. 
Some say all but the northern kingdom, they always rough. What kind of a rough? When the northern kingdom makes a deal with the southern kingdom, simply they are going to get roads from the mines to the ports. How can a person be rude with a, such a simple understanding? Sending machines, they have to get roads started from the mines, and then throw rocks on the road, smash the rocks down, make a nice road. From there, then goes to the port. Or, from the mine, it goes then to the smelter, then from the smelter goes to the port. And then from the port goes to China. So then afterwards would be then Panama Canal. Because with the same understanding of the main engine of the east, north and south, then it's tested. Obviously it's going to work. There is an abundance of cash, abundance of resources. Then they provide only the heavy equipment and trucks. The roads are then taken care of. Then simple smeltering places, very simple. A very simple old-fashioned depot, a huge smeltering place coal or any other type of energy to smelter the metal comes out in bars, gets loaded on trucks and then goes to the port, gets loaded in ships. After then Africa is somewhat organized then next year comes the Panama Canal. It's a much more complicated system because Panama Canal must be turned into a trading post. Would be the main trading post of the Americas. Similar as China's ports or then Singapore. Or a combination of them both. Why should then Panama become then a trading post? Because of Brazil. Brazil is part of the BRICS. There is a vast amount of resources in the northern part of the country. But then, the shipment system of Brazil is very precarious. They don't have as many ships. Not even petroleum is then in a fast pace. They have to use pilot ships. Pilot ships means this. They don't have yet rigs set up for the extraction of petroleum. So it's very slow. So what they do is, they have the pilot ships, simple tanker that comes out of the port, goes to the drawing site of the petroleum era, or area, and then they drop anchor, then they link a line from the deposit and then pumps up into the ship. When it is pumped, then it is released and then goes to the port and unloads the cargo. But not only petroleum, but then we are speaking of the same situation in the northern Brazil. Providing heavy equipment and then trucks. Then mines everywhere. From there goes to the smelter turns into bars, loads on trucks, goes to the port, loads on the ships, and then goes to Panama. Because Brazil does not have very many big ships. From there, from Panama, then comes the ships of the east. And they gather then the bars and take them to China. Then after these, then we understand obviously it would be then the Pacific. The next step would have been, obviously, 
make sure then the islands of the Pacific they get served with freighting services by this time we should be very near of the exclusion of the US monetary system because it's not in Daniel the 11th chapter in exchange for it then people receive the Chinese system already implemented and tested then comes from the Pacific the islands get served with freighting and then lands in New Zealand becoming a trading post of the South Pacific from there obviously then Australia we hope then from this time they get themselves straightened out and then comes towards the West as far as Europe is a big question mark because they are involved with the Eurozone and the Eurozone is condemned so from the 11th chapter we must understand our country United States must retrieve from the world system and then rebuild and then we must manage our balance so then we must be in a positive. This means we must lean up. We must be very conscientious of our costs. And make sure we update our backlogs. Then shortly next 36 months, then our system is in line. And when the Chinese system becomes available for the rest of us, then our nation is somewhat organized. And how is it going to be? Via labeling of the freighters. So try to understand each of these, there is a timing. Because the main factor relies with IMF report, the opinion of Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, both of them mentioned our system two years ago. It would last for five the very most. So we are based upon a solid understanding of a report of IMF, the opinion of Netanyahu then, the Prime Minister of Israel, and we are watching then the devaluing of the U.S. monetary system. So from the 80s and the gold standard, the U.S. monetary system has devalued 80%. So the time of these decisions must be very quick. It does not mean the U.S. is not going to exist anymore. It's simply the U.S. monetary system won't be worldwide anymore. Then we understand when it isn't, then the 11th chapter gets completed. Then we find the system of the East, along with the North and South, starting up then this engine. So then the situations are taking place per the schedule. The point is making sure that the East and North, they make a deal very quickly and start doing what it's on the agenda. And thus far, the plan couldn't be any simpler. But this time works because the divine hand is behind it. And then China can do either via exchange of materials or they can pay in cash gold 
As far as how they do their trade is up to them. It's not instructed. But we do understand movement of trade of the kingdom of the north and south. And obviously, east. So lots of developments, but then it starts with the kingdom of the east and north making the first deal. Management for the exchange of gas and crude. That's the first step. And then the rest of the world must retrieve. Except Africa. <laughs> 